Hello, today I would like to talk to you about finding inspiration for our art making in the everyday, in our everyday lives. So I just wanted to share what I've been doing in my art practice this week. Um, yesterday I had to walk home from the train station, I'd been away for a couple of days and I'm about 10 minutes, 10-15 minutes away from the train station, I was carrying a heavy bag but I just thought to myself, do you know what, I'm going to use this time in my day-to-day -day living to really look around me, to see what I can find that is visually pleasing and take photographs of anything I see that I find interesting. So I really just used quite a inauspicious, mundane walk home from the train station as a way to look around me to take note of any details or things that I found of interest and so I looked for kind of shapes or colours or patterns or anything that just appealed to my visual sensibilities and I was really surprised and delighted by what I found. It was such a simple task but it really allowed me to connect with the world around me and it really made a relatively boring walk actually quite a beautiful experience. I noticed things, I saw things that I had never seen before and it was like a little low-key treasure hunt uh, which really reminded me that paying attention and seeking I don't know, delight in the dull or beauty in the mundane is often rewarded. So I just wanted to share with you how I am using those photographs that I took on that little walk as a springboard, as some visual reference, as a starting point, as somewhere to begin. So this is just a page I did in my sketchbook yesterday and I just thought I'd talk you through it a little bit so you can see where some of the ideas came from. So this big shape here, which looks like a, a sort of flower exploding, was actually a fairly much a copy of a kind of peeling paint stain that I saw on my walk. And then these sort of diamond and triangle shapes came from a picture of a wall that I spotted along my street and there's a, I'm not sure if you can see this sort of um, arch shape here, that was a shape that I saw on a lock and then this sort of curved shape here came from a picture of a door so I just kind of took some of the shapes, motifs, things that I enjoyed about my walk yesterday and kind of mashed them together in this sketchbook page. Um, and it's just experimenting, it's just playing, who knows where it may take me. But there is definitely something about this shape here um, that I'm really enjoying and I can see that I could take it forward um, and create it maybe in different mediums. So it was just interesting to me that something so kind of mundane as a walk home from the train station provided just a tiny little bit of inspiration to get me started. So this was the sketchbook page that I did yesterday and I just wanted to show you something else as well. So these are a couple of sheets of experiments that I have created with some Indian ink and I got a couple of pages of paper out yesterday and just really quickly, it's maybe two minutes per page, just looked at some of the photographs I'd taken and, and kind of used some of the shapes that I saw in the photographs and put them on a page, fairly randomly I have to say. Um, although sometimes when I do that I actually end up quite liking it. So that was one of the pages and then this was another one of the pages and so there was this was a shape that was in I don't know a car park fence that I saw this was a very quick rendition of some of the wrought iron 
shapes that I saw. This was the um, the curve of a lock. And so I've just sort of very quickly scribbled them onto a piece of paper. Um, and I did a third page, which I then have cut up. <laughs> and I find these kind of playful techniques just a really nice way to start and to discover and to see what happens. And I, so I took a page and now I've just cut it up fairly randomly and I might work back into these and develop them. So the photographs that I took were really a springboard and an entry point and I'm just using them to help guide my experiments really. Anyway, I hope that was helpful and it might give you some ideas that you might want to use for your own art making.